Welcome back to Echo B Season 9. I'm on the bridge that Maeve is nicely expanding. And it looks very promising. Of course, he hasn't finished the road yet, so it will be a lot more work. But still, I do like the start of it, so it's all good. And yeah, he also managed to build an uh, industry building because we only have a few hours left until it's out. So he's making two-part industry. So all the machinery on both sides, supposedly. So we'll see how it works. Like all the detail for the roof to have the containers on top. It's quite nice. And yeah, in our building, uh, I've done quite a lot of work as well. I just came here to get rid of some of the uh, limestone that I had collected and also to get a few mortar stone. So let's quickly head back to our place because there's a lot to see and on our way we will encounter a lot of roads that probably need a lot more attention because people tend to make some section and then leave rest kind of open Not much like here but in much worse way so there are a few very big potholes on this road you can probably already see coming into the view so this way it's kind of dangerous because there's no marking or anything and like before in not here but in one other location I already ran off the bridge just because I didn't notice it in time anyway the buildings that have been added here so this building one day we can come by and check out as well but not just yet here is a new store for a lot of lumber related stuff been shopping there because it's very cheap and yeah people have managed to finish the road the road in front of our building is now good as well and yeah with the expansion I also have put up the sign for the modern upgrades it's tiny tiny warning text saying that expected delays for AU2 and above because well once the industry comes out I would need to start making them and then of course First getting the upgrade to my table and then extending it. So yeah. So where can I put those things? What auto crafters? What's so lonely? Yeah. Yeah, it will do. Because yeah, I need a lot of resources to do the uh, basic upgrades as well. Because they're kinda necessary for everything. So let's see how the basic ones are. The moment I need definitely a lot more hewn. This one needs basic ones to make basic twos. Okay. Three needs basic twos, so yeah, I pretty much need to go and get loads of logs and all the hewn in. Because people do come and buy, so I will go and chop down some trays later on. So where can I put it? It's not too much storage available, unfortunately. So I've used it all up. And let's put temporarily here and use it up. I can move it back in later on. So yeah, in, in this room I did some expansion as well, but I mean, not really using it. The main things that I have done are all downstairs. So first of all, this area where I went down before, it's fully enclosed. And now I made a small way down over here. So there's entrance to the downstairs corner. And this also goes into my modern upgrade table, which I have disabled to avoid using up too many materials. And yeah, this room is decorated a bit differently. So I I left the bricks on the outside for the strong red look and then made vibes out of the concrete and steel to give it a slightly different vibe and see how different materials go together. So I might still change it because, well, it's just a test. But yeah, it was necessary to get it uh, higher ranking because as uh, I have taken the lavish workspace, then I need uh, more than 2.0 on the room tier 
and yeah, so I needed tier 3. There was no concrete at the beginning, so I got some steel piping. But yeah, now it's like mixture of everything and and I will leave it like it is, because it's kind of unique. And if I go slightly down to this walkway, it actually leads to a much more important place, if I can walk through. So namely, I have done my housing finally. So I have bedroom. It's the first room here, because usually if I'm tired, I need to lay down immediately. And after that comes the living room. There's a nice fireplace. I haven't really figured out how the smoke goes out on this area. It probably goes somewhere under the water wheel. Of course, imaginary ways, but still. And yeah, so we have all the sofas and stuff. So we can easily come here and enjoy our days. I could only see where the sit button now is. All this goes away. And I want to use it. So yeah, I never remember where it is. So let's take the chair. So yeah, it's quite good view outside. I can watch the fish all day long. If it's a small bookshelf. I haven't found any seed for hair yet. I haven't even checked if I have anything upstairs. And after that is of course bathroom. Uh, there was no sink available, so that's why it's missing. But I did get most of the other stuff, so it does give us quite a nice uh, score. And then the kitchen. Of course I want to get a lot of lights here, because without lights it's a little bit odd. But yeah, so I decided that I want to have like some storage on the back sides, like shelving or something. Then dining table, and then counter for the kitchen and stuff. So it feels kind of comfortable, so I can put stuff out and pull stuff in when you're cleaning up so yeah that's pretty much the idea so I did do the housing for that reason I also heard that uh, Chuck has finally finished the maze at least the inside area so I'm thinking that we should go and check it out so it's definitely something fun so I will quickly drive over there and we can check it out so here we are, Twist and Turns Maze. I have never really been here. I just know that the last moment I came in, then uh, Jack was doing something on the roof, like all those corners here, to make it look better. So it kind of looks like it's all finished all around, unless he wants to add something else. But yeah, inside, he said, is all finished because, well, a uh, few people who have already added the text here, like Moonlight and True. So yeah, we need to check it out how difficult it is because, well, we cannot cheat with the map, apparently. So let's see. Entrance to the maze. Okay. And I'm not even sure where to expect the exit. So let's see what, what we can find. Kinda looks so far easy. Hasn't really started as a maze. It's just a long walkway. It's like going to the uh, Disney place, but well, here we have something else. So being crazy isn't enough. Yeah, I can believe that. So of course we have all the twists and turns which are expected. And then I decided I was lemon for a couple of weeks. Okay, very interesting. Not sure what it means. But yeah, sometimes people need to take the wrong path in order to lead them to the right path. I do believe so, yes. So, is the right path over here then? Of course not. <laughs> yeah, it's all wrong on this side, so we need to go slightly different route. This is ending. This is ending. Oh, we have to go back quite a lot now. Not too bad. So going this way, perhaps? Try to look if you have lost your mind. Hmm. Yeah, lost and found. Okay. 
I think that one goes back. There's a lot of light in this corner. Never miss a good chance to shut up. <laughs> yeah. I usually do miss that. Let's see. It's quite a long way and still ends up at nowhere. Wow. Again, dead end. It's quite well made. So yeah, before we even... Uh, in the chat there was discussion that maybe... We should have some type of tournament that few people go in and we see who gets out first. But for that, what would be really nice, if you want to kind of record it at least, is to have uh, like glass roof so you can see through. But well, we have all mortar stones, so a little bit difficult. I bought some batteries, but they were not included. <laughs> see the child of five could understand this send someone to fetch a child of five okay not sure what this the meaning is never said most of the things i said hmm a little bit odd okay this one ends there all right, everyone line up alphabetically according to your heights. Hmm. More confusion. There's two different ways to do something. There's a road here. Too much agreement kills the conversation. I agree. And dead end. Really nicely made here, so can't find anything. And yeah, the occasional signs, they definitely make you believe that you're on the right track when you're not. So let's see this one. Where does this go? Again, splitting. I wear a necklace because I want to know when I'm upside down. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> huh. There's entrance way. Okay. You have completed the maze. Congrats. Take a screenshot of you with this sign and post the picture as well as your in-game name on the maze project board in Discord along with the date you completed the maze as well as any comment you would like to have put on a sign to be posted out front of the maze as a victory wall. Yeah, that's, that's kind of nice. So, so here we are in front of the sign, of course. Our character wants to look wrong way, like always. It's something I do kind of like, you know, dislike. But let's see. I'll see if I can quickly sit down. Look, we can make our screenshots. So we'll just take it out of the video later on. But yeah, we have completed it, so. Let me hide everything. This way it's perfect screenshots. So yeah, I will find some good comments for this place. It is a maze and it's kind of amazing maze. So yeah, I do like it. Now let's find a way to actually get out of here. Ah, so it has small jumps, so that's how you really get out. Nice. So yeah, we can get our sign added here as well. So it's quite good. So yeah, fantastic build. And just before we end the video, I actually came across one other really interesting build that I want to showcase. So I will go there and show it to everyone. So first of all, Ben has built a second part of the hotel, which is quite nice. But they are definitely here not for that, but for the construction that is straight ahead, which is a big version of the uh, wooden carts. So it even has all the handles and everything built. Wheels, so the water wheels. 
yeah it looks kind of nice you can see a few dead pineapples here unfortunately so yeah quite interesting build so i found it nice so i wanted to showcase it it even has the sign on the back so yeah quite smart idea yeah very unique kind of wondering if it has anything inside the cards so let's see if i can find a way to go on top of it because it can be very difficult in here as every place is full of well, things i can have to find good way above huh. floating stuff ah. and it did get somehow i didn't even know that the trees have such interesting boxes around so yeah inside we can see that he's keeping a lot of stuff so like you do with normal cards so happily it's not empty so it has quite a bit of use so mainly for dirt and crushed limestone but still so this card is actual cards nice and yeah so i will leave today's video right here i hope that we can get rid of that tower i probably need to show iris how to make proper water wheel uh, our factory underground because that tower is a little bit sketchy i think it should bend over a lot but anyway i will leave it right here so i will hopefully see you in the next few days and yeah thank you for watching and see you then